There was once a type of cigar that was revered by Sir Winston Churchill himself. A cigar so popular at the time, it can be found mentioned in historic literature such as Sherlock Holmes. This is the story of the Trichinopoly cigar. Once so popular, it formed one of India's main exports, but today, part of a bygone era. To learn about this cigar, we need to go all the way to Tiruchirappalli in the southernmost part of India. In the 1800s, cigars were a staple of everyday life, especially in aristocratic Britain. At a time when British influence was heavy across the world, cigar manufacturing found its way to all four corners of the world. A place that was deemed highly suitable for such production, albeit far, far away from the Caribbean, was Tiruchipali in Tamil Nadu. Here they began production of a cheroot, a cruder form of cigars with no closed end, so two open parts. They were praised for being very mild and light smokes, where some were even fermented in distilled juices of fruits and honey to give them an aromatic character. They became so popular that they formed a cornerstone of Indian exports and up to 12 million of these cigars were exported annually at one point. Trickies, as they were also once called, have a fascinating history intertwined with famed cigar smoker Sir Winston Churchill. At the peak of the Second World War in the 1940s, Churchill found it increasingly difficult to obtain enough Cuban cigars to meet his smoking demands, enough so that a position called the CCA was established. The Madras government in India received a letter from the CCA, who they believed to be a chief confidential assistant. Much later, however, this revealed to be the acronym for Churchill's Cigar Assistant. The letter labeled Top Secret, discussed plans on how to meet Churchill's cigar demands with Trichinopoly cigars. The CCA had to act as a cigar taster and find the best trickies available in collaboration with the Madras government to send back to the Prime Minister himself. Later records reveal that Churchill apparently ended up loving the light and aromatic character of these cigars. Trichinopoly cigars were clearly massively popular at one point, so how have they ended up being a forgotten name? It's quite a difficult question to answer. The withdrawal of British control over India, paired with shifting production methods, as well as a change of popular taste, has led to tricky cigars being all but extinct. Fenn Thompson is the last surviving company still making cigars in the area with traditional methods. Although a relic of the past, it felt right to shine a light on such a historically significant and interesting cigar. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.